This experiment is determining the amount of iodate ion that is present in table salt. So what we have here is table salt. Uh, I've taken 50 grams, accurately weighed out uh, 50 grams, 49.726 grams to be precise, and I uh, made it up to uh, 250 milliliters uh, in this volumetric flask. Okay, I took a 25 milliliter aliquot of my salt water solution and put it into this conical flask here, which is nice and clean. So we've got our subsample, our sample of uh, sodium chloride, uh, which presumably has some amount of iodate ion in it. Okay, so now what first step is to turn the iodate into iodine, uh, because iodate is obviously, there's no color. It will not be possible to titrate this. Um, so what we've got is five milliliters, of, and that's approximately five milliliters, of potassium iodide. The iodide is going to cause the iodate to turn into iodine. That's a little confusing, but we're going from iodate into iodine using iodide. Okay, so what we're going to see here is a whole lot of nothing at the beginning because this reaction requires the presence of an acid. So we've got one molar HCl. Uh, and this is just excess, so it's, uh, it's approximately five milliliters. And hopefully you'll see a sign of a chemical change here uh, as soon as this is added. All right, so you have a nice pale yellow color. That is free iodine, I2. All right, so now we're ready for our titration. Now eventually you're gonna add starch, but not yet, all right? And the reasons for this are a little bit unclear to me, but I think there's some kind of uh, complex formed, some kind of undesirable complex formed if we do it while there's still a lot of iodine around. So we're gonna wait, we're gonna first titrate most of the way until this becomes mostly colorless, then we will add the starch solution, which I've already measured out. It's just about one milliliter or so, approximately. So in this, in my uh, burette, I have uh, accurately measured the initial volume and uh, this is the stock solution, which I used to create a 0.002 moles per liter solution. So I have 0.002 moles per liter uh, standardized solution in the burette, and now we're gonna titrate. I'm gonna try to do this uh, one-handed. So remember, we're just trying to get colorless uh, or close to colorless. We don't wanna go too far. Now I've already done two or three titrations, and I know that, I should have done the math here, uh, 23.45 down to 29.20. So that's six, a little bit less than six. So I'm gonna go for about five and a half milliliters, um, and I wish I would have watched where I started. So 29.2, I wanna go down to, all right, here we go. I'm adding. Starting to become pale. Okay, so that's pretty close to pale enough. I'll add a little more. Okay, that's that's a lot paler than it was to start with. Just to give you a reference, here's where it started. This is another one I prepared earlier. So it's ready to have the starch indicator uh, added. Now that should provide the ability to titrate uh, much more, more clearly uh, because it's a more intense color. So I'm gonna uh, continue adding sodium thiosulfate. Okay, so I'm very, very close to the end point. Okay, uh, I don't see any more violet color there, any more bluish violet, so uh, I'm gonna call that uh, close enough and record my final volume and I'll probably do one more trial to look for concordance.